Hi, and welcome to Enchantment of Eternity's Top 25 Scenes from Game of Thrones. This video is where I count down my top 25 favorite scenes from Game of Thrones seasons 1 through 6. So I have to start off by giving a spoiler warning for up to the end of season 6. If you haven't seen up to this point, you may not want to watch this video, otherwise some things may be spoiled for you. So this was originally going to be my top 10 scenes, but when I started looking at it, I saw that there were so many great scenes, there was no way I could whittle it down to just 10. In fact, I even found it very difficult getting it down to 25, and even with 25, it's a huge Sophie's Choice, and I almost decided not to rank them at all because in a way, they're all number one, and the differences between them are so minuscule, it's hardly worth mentioning, and I could change my mind on the ranking baits on the mood that I'm in, but in order to stick with the format here, I decided to rank them as best as I could. So before I get started, let me get, be clear on how I'm defining a scene. I'm not going by the technical script writing sense, which is every time a location change happens, it's a new scene, but rather more of a story sense. A scene is different from an episode, uh, from a segment, or a moment. For example, in the episode Hard Home, I'm not considering the Battle of Hard Home one scene, as that's more of a segment that I've broken up into several scenes. But on the other hand, uh, one of them isn't John Kills a White Walker, because that's more of a moment. A scene is more like the entire fight with John versus the White Walker, which doesn't include when the Night King raises his arms to challenge him, because that's a different scene, uh, if that makes any sense. Anyway, I defined a scene as best as I could and as I saw it uh, so from time to time my video uh, may you know it may be uh, different than what you consider a scene but my video my rules uh, so I don't want to hear any of this arguing over semantics because this was a difficult task so now let me get to my favorite scenes from Game of Thrones, but before I get into my top 25, let me start by naming a few honorable mentions that didn't quite make my list. First honorable mention is Joffrey gets his just desserts from the Lion and the Rose. Not only was it great to see this despicable character die, but the dynamic way in which it was executed with Cersei screaming over his dead body and the mystery that it left open as to who actually killed him while everyone blamed. Tyrion was just so suspenseful and so well executed. Next honorable mention is Jon's fight with the White Walker from Hard Home. The whole Hard Home battle sequence was amazing, but this one was particularly tense as Jon goes head to head with a seemingly unstoppable White Walker and it ends in an amazing moment where we learned Valerian Steel can indeed kill White Walkers, which had me screaming Valerian Steel, baby. So yeah, a great scene. And my final honorable mention is Tyrion's great speech from Blackwater. They say I'm half a man, so what does that make all of you? What a great scene from a great episode where Tyrion has to step up and inspire a seemingly losing army to fight. Tyrion is many things, but a battle commander was never one of them, so so great to see him come into this role and do it so well. Such an amazing scene. So yeah, those are just my honorable mentions, and they're all amazing scenes, so now you get an idea of how hard of a time I had making this list. Anyway, let me now get to my top 25 favorite scenes from Game of Thrones, starting with my number 25, Tyrion kills Tywin and Shay from the children. Arguably two scenes, but I decided to lump them together. This was truly heartbreaking. The whole tragedy of uh, Tyrion and Shay's romance, where Tyrion just wanted to protect her, but she took that as him discarding her, so she lashed out. That accumulated in this moment, where he found her in her father's bed and was forced to kill her, and then took that anger out of having to do so out on his father by filling him with arrows while he was on the shitter was such a powerful, well-executed scene, definitely a high point for the show. Number 24 on my list is The Birth of Daenerys' Dragons from Fire and Blood. What an iconic scene. When I first saw Daenerys step into the funeral pyre, I was certain that she would die because her whole storyline seemed to be building to her downfall. So I was so shocked and amazed that not only did she not die, but instead we get the birth of three creatures that the whole season has been assuring us are extinct. Such an amazing moment, which is helped by the beautiful music, which really helps drive home what a 
magical moment this is. Number 23 on my list is Arya kills Walder Frey from the Winds of Winter. This scene isn't very long, but my god, man, was it satisfying. We've been waiting since the end of Season 3 to see Walder Frey get his comeuppance, and to see it done in such a badass way was immensely satisfying, as we saw that serving girl earlier, and I was like, oh, I bet you that's Arya. And sure enough, she pulls the face off to reveal it's Arya, who smiles down on Walder Frey as he dies. It was just awesome. Number 22 on my list is Bran is attacked by Whites from the Children. I know a lot of people have complained about this scene, but I completely disagree with those complaints as this has always been one of my favorite scenes to see Bran and his team finally arrive at their destination of the Three-Eyed Raven's uh, tree, only to be attacked by these scary looking skeleton creatures and to be saved by one of the children of the forest who were also assured were extinct. In a scene that was so intense as Bran tries to walk into Hordor to help out, but Jojen loses his life anyway. It was just a high octane, super intense scene that was extremely horrifying and effective. Coming in at number 21 is the Night King's Challenge from Hardhome. What a super eerie and creepy way to end this episode after seeing the White Walkers slaughter a whole village of people to see the Night King then raise all those people from the dead to join his army and he did so in such a way that it's clearly a challenge to John as he slowly moves away on his boat. It was just so creepy and made it absolutely clear how big of a threat the White Walkers actually are. Next, we'll get into my number 20. Tyrion trolls the small council from what is dead may never die. This is an amazingly well done scene, which in my opinion extremely elevates this scene from the source material as we see Tyrion meet privately with each of the three members of the small council and he tells all three of them that he's going to marry Princess Marcera off to someone, but he tells each of them a different person to see which one of them will tell Cersei. Uh, this scene was just so awesome because it shows Tyrion at his most clever and even the way he expertly manipulates these three master manipulators was awesome, as was the way the whole scene was cut together as it flows seamlessly into one conversation and to another. Plus, it featured one of my favorite lines where Tyrion tells Varys the queen mustn't know, and his response was, ooh, the queen mustn't know. I love conversations that begin that way. And to see Tyrion respond by trying but failing to suppress a huge smile was just awesome. I love this scene. So next, let's move on to my number 19, Arya kills Marin Trant from Mother's Mercy. Where arguably this wasn't as satisfying as seeing our, uh, Walder Frey get killed, uh, the reason why this ranks a little higher to me is because the simple brutality of this scene and the way Arya relishes in it. We've seen Arya moving towards the dark side for a while, but this is where she reaches full dark, but just stabbing out both of Trant's eyes and just, you know, continuing to viciously stab him even when he's down, but of course any sympathy we might have had for Trent is completely gone after learning he's a pedophile that likes to beat young girls, and so it's actually fitting that Arya disguises herself as one of these young girls in order to get close to Trent in the way that she just sucker punches him by springing on him and just starts stabbing his eyes out. Ah, oh, it's brutal, and of course she had to remind him of who she is and what he did uh, before slitting his throat. It was just such a brutal scene. Next, we'll get to my number 18. Egret confronts John from Misa. This was a really heartbreaking scene uh, that was the pinnacle of Jon Snow's season 3 storyline as he was building a truly heartwarming romance with Egret and to see her confront him after he seemingly betrayed her just to have him heartfeltly confess his love for her but uh, tells her uh, the truth that he needs to return to the Night's Watch now and he has trust that she won't shoot him which turns out to be wrong but it's mainly a side effect of her, her own heartbreak. Uh, it was just such an emotionally effective scene. Next is my number 17, which is Cersei confronts Tywin from the children. 
Another emotionally charged scene that featured what was, in my opinion, uh, the best performance Lena Headey had given in the show, which is a bold statement considering she's one of the best actors in the show. In the scene, she finally stands up to her father who constantly held all of the power over her as he insists that she married Loris and she strikes back by threatening to reveal her real relationship with her brother to the Public, uh, if he forces her hand. And this was such a powerful scene, not only because this is where Tywin finds out the true nature of his, children's, of his children's relationship, but also where Cersei finally turns the tables on this powerful man and gets power over him. And the way both actors played this was just magnificent. Excellent acting at its best. Moving on to my number 16, which is Jack and Hagar dies, or does he, from Mother's Mercy. Uh, this scene absolutely blew me away as it was one of the more abstract, mind-bending scenes of the show. As uh, cool as it was to see Arya go off and kill uh, Maren Trant by using the face, we knew there had to be repercussions for her actions as we just knew Jack and would know uh, what's really going on. But these consequences were so unexpected and strange, which is really awesome as instead of just simply killing Arya, Jack and kills himself and to see Arya's response where she's screaming don't die was such an emotionally powerful and great performance but then the wave turns into Jack and Hagar and then Arya uh, keeps pulling off the faces from the dead man's body until seeing her own face and then going blind it was just awesome it proves that the faceless men truly are no one and who we thought of as Jack and Hagar isn't really an individual but it could in fact be a collection of many different people because none of them have a true identity and that is absolutely mind-blowing. So now let's get to my number 15 which is John's Mosh Pit from Battle of the Bastards. Uh, this was an amazing dark scene as the whole episode has been building towards the Stark defeating the evil Boltons in battle and instead we see Ramsay outmaneuver John at every turn and the worst of it is to see the Stark army fall right into his trap as he surrounds them with a wall of shields and spears that slowly move in on this army and crush them to death and just the way this was executed with the music and the sound and the cinematography and everything it was just simply amazing. It was so well done as it puts you in John's mindset to see what it was like to be crushed by a massive army. It was just a richly dark and foreboding scene uh, that only Game of Thrones can do. Next, we'll get to my number 14, which is The Mountain versus The Red Viper of Dorne from The Mountain and The Viper. This is the most epic trial by combat uh, the show has ever done. It was built to amazingly well as Tyrion uh, chose this option to spite his father only to find out that no one would fight for him until Oberyn chimed in and said that he uh, would use it as his chance to get revenge on The Mountain and Tywin. And the fight itself was just amazing. It was so well choreographed. It was just creating great tension. By far, this was one of the best one-on-one -on -one fight scenes the show has done. And the stakes are raised as Oberyn isn't really fighting for Tyrion. He has his own motivations. Has it so awesome to hear him repeat, "Who gave the order?" And then, of course, this ends, uh, you know, up being his downfall. As the Mountain uses this to catch him off guard and smash his head like a grape, which was such a shocking ending. Definitely a Harmock moment for Game of Thrones. Next, we'll get to my number 13, which is uh, The Wildfire Destroys Stannis' Fleet from Blackwater. Again, I'm not just talking about the moment, but the whole scene, which was amazing, as Stannis had the clear advantage in this battle, but you could tell Tyrion was scheming something. We even get some humor in this scene as Joffrey tries to pester Tyrion uh, by telling the Hound to tell you know Tyrion that he asked him a question, and Tyrion's response was telling Lancel to tell the Hound to tell the King that that he's busy. It was so hilarious and also to see Davos, you know, his point of view has, you know, they're baffled by this lone ship coming out to meet them and then realizing, uh, but too late realizing that it's a trap and the wildfire explosion itself is simply amazing and from a technical standpoint it was the first time the show had this massive cinematic quality of special effects to it. Uh, it was just such an amazing sequence. It remains one of the most visually spectacular sequences the show has ever done. Next, we'll get to my number 12, which is John fights the Magnar Thin and Ygritte dies 
from the Watchers on the Wall. Yes, I'm counting this as one scene because it does kind of flow into the you know one to another. First, we get the big boss battle between John and the Magnar Thin, which was John's first real example of proving himself in battle as the Magnar Thin, you know, was this unstoppable badass. And the battle itself was gritty and bloody and totally satisfying when John brings the hammer down on his head. But even better was the follow-up, which was truly heartbreaking, where Ygrid spots John and has every attention to putting arrows in him and his response at seeing her was just a smile, a huge smile which gives her pause enough time for Ali to get his revenge for the murder of his parents and then the heartbreaking moment where Ygritte dies longing for the time they were together and then gives her classic you know nothing line just before dying truly a memorable scene coming in at number 11 is the dragons burn the master's fleet from battle of the bastards this was just an amazing scene i was literally squealing like a little girl and jumping up and down on my seat when i was watching this scene i've been waiting so long for some real dragon action it was so satisfying to finally get it but in a way that puts uh, this marine storyline to rest and it wasn't just the dragon sequences uh, which were all they were amazing as hell but we also get a lot of badass moments we get a badass Daenerys moment when the slavers ask for her surrender and she's like oh no you misunderstand we're asking for your surrender and then Drogon swoops in and comes crashing down right next to her and then we get a badass Dario moment when he swoops in with the Dothraki who starts slaughtering the sons of Harpy which begins with him cutting off a Harpy head. We get a badass Grey Worm moment when Masande tells the three master leaders one must die and he kills two of them instead. And a badass Tyrion moment when he tells the surviving master to remember what happened here when Daenerys came with her dragons. This whole scene is just pure awesomeness. So yeah such amazing scenes. I haven't even gotten to my top 10 yet, but let me delve into that now. And I'll start with a scene uh, many may disagree with and feel doesn't belong on this list, let alone my top 10, but I will fight tooth and nail for this scene as I think it was definitely one of the best executed scenes and one of the ones that had the strongest emotional impact on me personally, and that is the burning of Shireen from the Dance of Dragons. Uh, this was executed so well from the music to the cinematography to the editing, but most of all the acting. I was completely blown away by all the performances in the scene from Melisandre to Selyse to Shireen, and most of all Stephen Delaney as Stannis, as in my opinion he gives the performance of his career in this scene. This scene was just so incredibly heartbreaking. I mean, any scene where a father burns his daughter alive is going to be depressing and difficult to watch but I felt the way it was executed was so masterfully done it really elevated the emotional impact of the scene tenfold down to Shireen's screams to Selyse's tears and yells and to Stannis's stubbornness and refusal to stop but the look of heartbreak on his face was so deafening. Frankly I think that's why many don't like this scene and find it difficult to watch because it does its job a bit too well but it gave it the seriousness and weight it deserved in this twisted scene that's true to Martin's theme of how prophecies can be misinterpreted and can bite you on the ass. In my opinion, one of the best executed scenes I've ever seen on screen. So next we'll get to my number nine, Hold the Door from the Door. Speaking of heartbreaking moments, this one was not only heartbreaking but fascinating as we get a very inventive and fascinating answer to why Hodor says Hodor all the time and has a strong sense of things coming full circle and how Bran's power can have unintended side effects. Of course, this was Hodor's destiny. He was always meant to lose his mind as a child so he would one day be Bran's servant. That helped him get north of the wall so he could be there to give his life to save Bran and the fact that he experiences his own death at the moment he lost his mind as a child is so mind-bending and the scene itself was done so well with sad music and the amazing battle sequences of the whites destroying the three-eyed raven's cave it was intense suspenseful thought-provoking and incredibly sad all at the same time making this a very powerful scene indeed 
Coming in at number eight is the Red Wedding from the Reigns of Castamere. Uh, just so, f you know, so far my top ten has been really depressing, but sometimes uh, those scenes can be the most impactful and none more so impactful than this one. You can tell when watching this scene how much care the showrunners put into uh, making this scene has, it was so well executed and in this man's humble opinion was improved upon from the source material that it was adapted from as we see rob and his wife have a touching romantic moment about the son that they will soon have right before she's stabbed in the baby bearing gut what could be more brutal than that but if that wasn't enough his entire army was slaughtered around him and the heartbreak when catelyn begs for mercy for his her son was truly heart-wrenching as, uh, it was just how unbelievable it was that Walter Frey and Roose Bolton were acting so despicable and taking so much enjoyment of all the carnage that they were inflicting around the people around them that trusted them and lowered their guard. Uh, it was just brutal. A few things in any medium of storytelling has been this powerful and emotionally impactful and the scene which frankly made television history and will always be remembered for doing so. So now let me get to my number seven, which is the White Walkers attack Hard Home from Hard Home. This uh, refers to the scene at the start of the battle, which was eerie as fuck, as John and the Night's Watch were in the process of evacuating the Wildling Village, where they were all gathered. And when all of a sudden the you know dogs start barking, the weather changes, things get like colder, and a storm front comes in, and you get this music that is eerie as fuck, and then unbelievably deadly attack from the White Walkers which begins in such a creepy way that takes advantage of the best horror cinematic tricks. Uh, just the screaming of the thin Lobota to shut the gates was so chilling and once the attack kicked in and you get all these wildlings start freaking out and clamoring to get on the evacuation boats with the super suspenseful music kicking in was just one of the single most thrilling moments in television I've ever experienced. The whole scene was truly amazing. Coming in at number six is Tyrion's Trial from the Laws of Gods and Men. This refers specifically to the ending scene of Tyrion's Trial when Shay gives her testimony, which sends Tyrion into a fit of rage. This whole performance by Peter Dinklage in this whole speech, I must say, is the single best performance in the entire series and one of the best performances I've ever seen on any screen. This scene was just so chilling to see Tyrion's heartbreak of having everyone hate him and accuse him of a crime he knows that he didn't commit even his love of his life turns on him it was just so powerful as the way that Tyrion lashes out at all of them by telling them he should have let Stannis kill them all it was such a powerful moment that ended amazingly strong as Tyrion declared uh, a trial by combat uh, thus defeating his father's best laid plans uh, he wasn't sure if it was the best decision for him to make but he just wanted to defeat his father and wipe that smug smile off his face and not let him get away with it and the performances both of these actors as they just glare at each other after knowing what just happened was so tangibly powerful just with simple looks some of the best acting i've ever seen so now we're really getting down to it. My number, my top five, starting with my number five, Cersei's Little Lion Story from Blackwater. This is an amazing montage scene, uh, which was just, you know, done in such an incredible way uh, to end this amazing episode as Cersei sits on the Iron Throne with Tommen as she prepares to poison him and then herself as it appears that Stannis is about to stack, sack the city and kill them all. And the undertones of the scene as Cersei tells Tom in the story of a proud little lion was just so staggering and the fact that the, her voiceover was done to this amazing battle, uh, battle sequence montage where we see Tyrion lying 
you know, near death on the battlefield as the battle rages around him and all appears to be lost while this, uh, you know, amazing, sorrowful music plays. And just when Cersei is about to poison Tom and Loras comes bursting through the throne room and the first thought is, Loras, what the hell is he doing here? But right behind him comes Tywin bursting in and declares that they won the battle and Cersei just drops the poison and rejoices. You just want to get up and cheer until you remember that you hate the Lannisters and didn't necessarily want them to win and this is the kind of dynamic storytelling that really makes this show great so next let's get to my number four Daenerys sacks Astapor from and now his watch is ended this scene is pure 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 badass and such a watershed moment for the show overall for several episodes Daenerys learned of these slavers who treat their slaves in the most cruel ways imaginable and she has to stand there while the head slaver Krasnus just berates her and calls her all sorts of names in high Valyrian a language he thinks she can't understand but turns out that she can and the reveal that she understood him this whole time was so epic and so well executed as right before she reveals this you can kind of tell by the look she gave him when he called her a bitch that she understood exactly what he was saying and instead of you know giving up her dragon to buy a slave army she uses both of them to kill all the masters to stop this vicious cycle of slavery an amazing scene filled with such great cinematography as Drogon just burns the city around her it was truly amazing so next, let's get to my number three, which is Daenerys is attacked at the fighting pits from the Dance of Dragons. So, for this I'm including both the attack of the Sons of the Harpy at the Fighting Pits and Drogon's arrival where he roasts the Harpies alive, which ends with Daenerys going for a ride for the first time. You could argue these are separate scenes, and if, if so, then consider this a tie, because I couldn't really separate them, because this whole sequence was so amazing. The creepy way in which the Harpies just pop up out of nowhere and completely surround the Daenerys and her troop and close in on them was truly chilling, chilling and extremely effective but this is topped off by another amazing dragon sequence my favorite of the entire show as this was executed so well as Drogon could almost sense Daenerys was in danger and the moments before he comes uh, you know she does really look like they're all doomed and it has they're completely surrounded by harpies that close in on them which make Drogon's daring rescue where he just starts roasting them alive that much more satisfying in the moment where uh, Daenerys rides Drogon for the first time while Tyrion and the others look on and all which truly captures the amazement of this spectacular moment. Next, let me get to my number two favorite scene which is such an amazing scene. This was a real close contender for my number one scene but it just barely inches behind at number two and the only thing i have to say about this scene is you're a talker listening to talkers makes me thirsty and hungry i think i'll take two chickens that's right my number two favorite scene of game of thrones is Arya and the hound confront the lannister men at the inn now i've been quite vocal on my channel of how huge of a fan i am of amazing dialogue and dialogue based scenes as when pulled off well i find it even more impressive than fancy cinematography cutting edge cgi or action-packed stunts as to make a scene just as suspenseful and engaging using nothing but dialogue is an amazing feat although the end of the scene does feature a lot of action and fighting the dialogue is what makes this scene really great as i would uh describe this scene as tarantino-esque the way that it builds tension with amazing dialogue is simply impressive to be honest i've never been that huge of a fan of the hound but his performance here is beyond great as he has a classic line such as when Arya tells him lots of people name their swords he responds by saying lots of cunts but of course the best dialogue is his interaction with Pulliver as he slowly defies him and challenges them all to a fight as you know Pulliver is like oh do you want to die over some chickens and he's like someone is so amazing and Arya's performance is 
equally great how she doesn't speak at all, but is just as effective with just the look she gives, uh, which shows the other side of the coin of how powerful a performance can be with no dialogue. And at the end, it really drives the scene as we see Arya take such dark delight in killing Pulver as he as she taunts him before killing him. It was a true landmark in Arya's storyline as this is the first time she personally takes revenge on someone from her list. But always, uh, you know, fully displays, she also fully displays uh, her descent into darkness and it's just so powerful. And then seeing Arya and the Hound ride off into the burning countryside eating chicken was an amazing conclusion to this amazing scene, making it my second favorite scene of Game of Thrones. So now, let me finally get to my number one favorite scene of Game of Thrones, and that is Baylor Sept is destroyed by wildfire from the winds of winter. So yes, I'm including the entire sequence that opens the winds of winter from Tommen, the High Sparrow, and Cersei getting dressed and prepared for the trial, to Cersei drinking a celebratory glass of wine as hundreds of people die a horrible death and burn, burn in fire. Because I don't think you could really separate the sequence as the music ties it all together. And my god, this music was amazing. A lot of people say it's reminiscent of The Godfather, but since I haven't seen that film, it reminds Reminds me more personally of the sequence in Breaking Bad where Walter White drinks a celebratory glass as uh, 12 people were killed all at the same time by his orders. But honestly, that was probably inspired by The Godfather as well. However, I say this scene is even more amazing because the whole season has been building to Cersei going mad and getting her revenge because she had been constantly defeated and humiliated since the end of season 5 and you're just waiting for her to come back and get her revenge and the way she does it was just so powerful. You actually can't help but feel enthralled and cheer for Cersei as she completely turns the tables on the despicable High Sparrow and his movement. But when you think about it, Cersei kills hundreds of innocent people for her own selfish purposes. So uh, what she does here is really evil and a villainous act. And yet you can't help but cheer for her as she does it. Again, this is the power of the show. And to uh, that dark scene where Kyburn uh, uses his little birds to kill the annoying Maester Pycelle, who I've been waiting so long to see him get his just desserts was also great. I have to re-emphasize the music and the cinematography and the whole way the sequence was edited together was just a master class in filmmaking that rivals even the most revered award-winning film with a classic uh, scene in cinematography history, let alone television, making this my number one favorite scene of Game of Thrones. So that's it for my top 25 favorite scenes of Game of Thrones. Thanks for sticking around for this long video, uh, but this was a really hard decision. Uh, this show just has so many amazing scenes, and I know there are plenty more amazing scenes that I left out, but again, it was so difficult. I tried my best, and of course, this is just my opinion, and I'm sure many others would place some scenes that I failed to mention higher than some that I did, but this is just me. So please be sure to check out my channel as I continue to cover Game of Thrones to the build up to Season 7. Also be sure to check out my channel for many more videos on other shows like Star Trek Black Sails, The Expanse, The 100, and more. So be sure to subscribe so you can keep up with all of that. And thanks a lot for watching.